Okay, that's which are Tavarishi. And as you can as you can see I'm back. I was listening, I was redoing this mission over and over and over again, and all of it consisted was me redoing the same footage that I already took and you saw, but all of a sudden this the song came on. The Stalin by Firelike song came on, and during the epic guitar solo about halfway through, all of a sudden all these memories, all these incredible visions just cascaded back towards me and I remembered everything about who I was and let me say I wish I hadn't I remember the movie I remember the frustration I remember the shockingly fucked up images that I saw and I, I wish I hadn't done it but by this time um, I just finished the tenth mission and there's only there's only two pe there's only oops I almost finished this mission I lied but there's only two missions left and I've come this far. I've come this far, so I may as well just finish it. And never touch this game again. I have to finish what I started, comrades. It is imperative that I do. Because if I if I don't, then, then I am nothing. Uh, well, unfortunately, it looks like there is uh, a whole bunch of aliens guarding the portal. So I'm going to ram my tanks into them. And uh, it'll mess them up good, I hope. So basically, I rammed my tanks into them and destroyed them. And with three tanks, I managed to destroy an entire alien force and demolish the alien portal. There was the song that brought back everything that I hoped to destroy with my electrothoxic shock therapy. We're mission 11. Only two more missions, and then this is all over. Anyway. Heroes from the future. Commander, this is very good news. We are ready for the final push to victory. The bad news is the aliens all, the aliens know this and will fight to the bitter end. You'll be heavily outnumbered in this mission. They will fight like crazy. Obviously, I understand they will need all the support I, support I can provide. First of all... For this mission, I grant you the super technology which allows us to summon from the future our glorious descendants. However, you must be careful, for you will have to protect the por portal until they arrive. Once that is done, command for them forward and rush the enemy portal, destroying every slime in your way. Kill them all, so we do not, so they will not stab us in the final back with extraterrestrial evil. Master the tides of time, Stalin. P.S. I will join you there soon, Commander. I am already on my way. Sent via Soviet phone. It. We're, we're approaching the final vector, as they would say. All right, we have to defend this position. We have to defend it. And I think uh, I can pretty much hold it as long as I stay in one spot and use my rockets. But I also got to have a... Uh no, no, the rockets don't fly in the middle of the battlefield. They stay back and actually shoot and kill people. That's why this goddamn finicky pointer is so annoying. Because when you need to command your artillery to shoot the enemies, Sometimes it registers that you shot them, and other times it registers that you clicked the ground and it decides to move into the enemy lines. And, oh, it's just painful. So painful. And second wave is oncoming. Uh, there we go. I actually shot this time. And Katusha rockets will fly forth and crush the enemy. I gotta go and collect all that gold. There we go, I gotta collect it all, gotta collect it all. What the hell? Looks like they're under attack by something. Alright. Seeing another wave of Katusha rockets to destroy the aliens. Sorry, I'm actually really liking these rockets. These rockets actually get me all fired up. No, no, don't. Uh, 
Is that it? Okay, so I destroyed all the aliens. Holy shit, there's a whole bunch of them. And... I'm not really sure what's going on. the wormhole to the future open till what till when oh it's there there they come finally here come the, uh, the next the next wave thought the game had glitched on me it probably did in all in all fairness oh, come on rockets open fire open fire Oh shit, we're losing on we're losing on this pass. We need some reinforcements. It looks like they the the horrible green men had gotten trapped in the pass and can't advance. No, no. Oh no, oh no. It's that whole it's the horrible Gorbachev song. Okay, I guess the my Katusha has decided that it it doesn't want to go up and, and fight the enemies, but the wormhole to the future is apparently open and it has brought in Oh my god, it has brought in a mammoth tank from Command and Conquer. Again, another nod to a far better RTS game I could be playing. But regardless, um, that's pretty badass. And you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to save the game so I don't have to do that all over again. In case for whatever reason I might die. But I can't die because I've got a mammoth tank from the future. Which looks like he can take a hell of a beating. Wonder if it can crush the enemies. Um. I better I better get in, in there with some of my other tanks. I need to find it some health. I didn't realize it would be me meeting such fierce resistance. I should have expected though, considering this is their last um their there is their bitter last stand. Huh, okay. Alright. One out of three taken care of. I'm gonna gather my whole tank force and we're gonna go on a brutal rampage through Mars. Here I am, when you send me an angel. I need an angel right now. There we go. This is the Soviet tank assault of the of the future. Led by a mammoth tank from uh, Red Alert. Or was it? Yeah, for, yeah, it was Red Alert. It was from Command and Conquer regardless. I guess that's what they meant by, uh... Well, they, they meant by their, their ancestors from the future or whatever. Holy crap! There's so much crap going on on the screen right now that the computer doesn't understand what it's doing. But regardless, um...
Oh my god. Oh my god, there's just so much crap on the screen right now. I've dropped to 10 frames per second. Okay, so 